Hola, welcome to Aida's Kitchen. Bienvenidos. My name is Aida Lugo McAllister and I am going to demonstrate how to prepare coffee with milk, café con leche. You are probably saying what is so special about preparing coffee with milk. Making authentic Puerto Rican coffee with milk entails many simple steps to produce an aromatic, rich tasting coffee. Did you know that I never drank a cup of coffee prepared in a percolator or coffee maker when I lived in Puerto Rico for many years? In this cooking demonstration, you are also going to learn how to prepare black coffee, our traditional method, using a saucepan and cloth strainer, colador de tela. Once the black coffee is prepared, it is poured into scalded milk. Sugar is then added according to your taste. I will be using Bustelo to make our black coffee, but you can use other brands like Café Rico. When my friend goes to visit his mom in Puerto Rico, he usually brings me a bag of Café Rico. Café Rico is listed as the top 10 best Puerto Rican coffees. Let's first prepare the black coffee. In a saucepan, pour two cups of water. And bring the water to a boil. The water is boiling, so add two heaping tablespoons of ground coffee. Stir ground coffee well into liquid. I usually add one heaping tablespoon for every cup of water. But you can adjust the quantity according to how strong you prefer your coffee. Continue stirring during the boiling process until the coffee starts to foam. The coffee is starting to foam. Let's reduce heat to medium and simmer for approximately three minutes, stirring occasionally. We just finished brewing our coffee after three minutes of simmering. The next step is to strain the coffee. You can omit this method of preparing black coffee, which is our version of preparing espresso coffee, and instead use an espresso coffee maker if you prefer. I also plan to warm the milk in a saucepan, but you can also use a milk frother to foam your milk, just like the restaurants. Follow the manufacturer's manual instructions on how to operate these two small kitchen equipments. We can now strain the coffee. I normally strain the coffee in a stainless steel pitcher, but decided to use a glass pitcher so you can observe the dripping process. I also rinsed the glass pitcher with hot water to avoid cracking. Place the cloth strainer into the opening of pitcher and gently pour the coffee. If the coffee is too hot, the glass pitcher will immediately start to fog up. At the end of the dripping process, I usually squeeze the bottom section of the cloth strainer to extract the last few drops.
After straining the coffee, you will have approximately one and a half cups of coffee. I normally drink coffee without sugar if prepared with a regular coffee maker. When prepared in a saucepan and then strained, cafe colado, it is a much stronger coffee and therefore I need to sweeten the coffee with some sugar. If you feel the same way, then add one tablespoon of sugar into a cup along with one teaspoon of the brewed coffee. Stir until a paste is formed. This will allow the sugar to dissolve quickly when the hot coffee with milk is poured into cup. It is time to heat the milk. Pour one cup of whole milk over medium heat into saucepan. And stir continuously. Stirring prevents the milk from forming a thin layer of fat on top. In our culture, the Spanish term is nata. As the milk heats up, you will start seeing small bubbles appearing around the edges of saucepan, which indicates that the milk is scalded. The temperature for scalding milk is 180 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, gradually pour the entire brewed coffee into milk, café colado. Continue simmering for approximately three minutes, stirring occasionally. We just finished preparing our coffee with milk, café con leche, after simmering for three minutes. This recipe yields two cups of coffee with milk. Enjoy a strong cup of Puerto Rican coffee with milk, café con leche, with our traditional bread, pan de agua, or pan sobao, served with butter. Every day at 3 p.m., I would run home because coffee with milk was served with bread and butter in Puerto Rico, a custom I still follow today in the United States. Puerto Rican coffee is grown in the mountains of central Puerto Rico. The most popular bean harvested in Puerto Rico is the Arabica for its sweetness and smoothness. I am ready for my afternoon coffee with milk. Mira. Ya son las tres de la tarde. It's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Let's taste this delicious coffee with milk. Mmm. I love strong coffee because you can taste the rich coffee flavor. When you combine the black coffee with warm milk and sugar, you create a smooth texture with a touch of sweetness. Mmm, riquísimo. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare coffee with milk. Café con leche. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.